Good morning, world. It's Friday, March 18th, 2022. Weather's getting pretty nice outside. We're on our way down to Selkirk. We picked up this trailer behind us in Norway House, Manitoba yesterday, and I made it all the way back down to Grand Rapids, Manitoba. So we have about another four, four and a half hours down to Selkirk, gonna drop this trailer for the people there. They're expecting me. And then head home for the weekend. I did two trips up to Norway House this week. It was my first time ever going up there, the first time. And my first time ever driving a rig across an ice road. It was also a very bumpy ride. But now that we have a trailer on us, it smoothed things out quite a bit, but it's still a little bit bumpy up here. So if you are coming up Highway 6, just be prepared. Make sure you wear your seatbelt and keep your windows closed so you don't go flying out. Other than that, it's a good time. It's a good time. Furthest north I've ever been in Manitoba to this date. Norway House. So that's on top of Lake Winnipeg, or north of Lake Winnipeg. Almost halfway up towards uh, our uh, border with Nunavut. Arriving in Selkirk, Manitoba pretty messy down here the temperature's a lot warmer down here than it was up in Norway house everything's melting somewhere up here I've got to make a left turn welcome to Selkirk where it all comes together is this it yeah this is it right here right after the Selkirk sign it's kind of a residential area where I've got to bring this trailer to, so it's uh, not really made for trucks. As you can see, there's a big orange sign here already saying local truck traffic only. That's us. This was the best route I could find to get into where I have to go. I have to go all the way to the end of this street and turn right. And then it's a little ways down there. There's like a big open yard in the middle of this residential area. Oh, and this is gonna turn real bumpy right here. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Not sure why they would have this as a mud road right in town, but here we are living the dream. We go around the corner there, that's our road. Oh great, and another one. I don't know where the edge of my road is here, so I don't want to go too close to the ditch, I don't want to get sucked in. This is the messiest time of year. But the good thing about this part of year is, uh, just to be positive, no bugs and no mosquitoes. This is my street. This is closed to trucks, but I am a local delivery. I'm trying to get out of Selkirk now. I don't have a trailer behind me, so that makes it a little easier. But I never really drive here, which <laughs> makes me unfamiliar with uh, what's going on. I keep, like, I'm surprised that Steinbach is bigger than, like, Portage and Selkirk. Apparently it is. But I feel like these cities are bigger than ours. I can clean my windshield off. We're gonna get, have to get some more washer fluid next week, that's for sure. It's Friday today, have I told you that already? Let's play the game, dodge the potholes. 
Oh, another big one right here. All right. Hey, Hicks. Hicks. Let's get to know Manitoba is still Manitoba. Springtime, it gets really bad because of the, the spring thaw. Everything thawing out and every, the land all adjusting. And you get it. Potholes are just part of, oh, 65% on this bridge. Okay, well, my steers are a little too much for that then. Okay, well, we're not gonna go that way. Okay, so we can't take the bridge over there. Well, then where are we gonna go? Spring road restrictions. Uh, I need to get over to the 59. I guess I could take the 44. We'll go down the nine to the 44 then. Oh, that was my bad. Google doesn't know, because Google doesn't know much. This isn't my truck GPS. I have a truck GPS uh, back at home. Okay. We'll try that. We were just on that street there. We just looped around to this street. And uh, we'll just take that road further south to the, the next highway. And that highway won't be uh, weight restricted. This time of year, I have to be careful where I drive. Even if I'm bobtailing, 65% weight. Uh, my steer tires, my drive tires are nowhere near being overweight then, but my steer tires are overweight. I'm still sitting at about 10,000 pounds, so about 90% of my actual weight on my steers, or of my maximum weight, I mean. So I'm not gonna risk it. I don't feel like getting a ticket today. I'll just go the long way around. I should have known that, I should have known that. But like I said, I don't drive in Selkirk very often. I'm usually either in Steinbeck or Winnipeg. And during these months of spring, it's hard to remember offhand which which roads are weight restricted, how much, and which roads I can go down bobtailing or empty, which loads I can't take down there when I'm loaded. I mean, there's websites where you can go and look at all the roads, right? Guess I gotta refresh myself and go study them again. No, Google, we're gonna go all the way down to 44. She's gonna be yelling at me for a little while now. I'm not following her plan. Your plan would have gotten me a fine. No, she's trying to get me in trouble. Oh, <gasps> there's a Timmy's. I wonder if I could park my truck close enough to go get a coffee. I don't have a trailer on me. I'm gonna see if I gotta get into that lane. No, we're going to Timmy's. Is there a place to park my truck around here somewhere? See, there's Tim's. Uh, I don't think I can fit my truck in there. No, no room for uh, even a, this truck in there. That's too bad. I really wanted Tim's. Maybe there'll be another one. Okay, I'm turning you off. You're yelling at me. Quit yelling at me. There's got to be another Tim's down the road here somewhere, right? The warm weather has been very welcome at our house. Tons of snow here, but believe it or not, the snow has gone down quite a bit. Quite a bit. I don't know where all the water is going. I hope it's going straight down and not anywhere fishy. That it shouldn't be. Or maybe we do want it to go somewhere fishy. It's weird the way I said that, right? The fish could use it a lot more than me. I just don't want it anywhere near my house. <laughs> Inevitably, some of it's going to seep under our house into our crawl space. We have a mud crawl space underneath our house, remember? And we're dealing with that this, this summer. We have a few things we need to do this summer. Uh, that's one of them. And I've already scheduled, or I've reached out to a company to come give us an estimate of how much it's going to cost to do the vapor barrier on our crawl space uh, just to keep the moisture in the ground and not uh, coming up under our house and into our house uh, so there's that yeah all the snow's been coming down quite a bit gotta wash this window uh, spring cleaning's coming but you can see our fire pit has made an appearance again couldn't see that a couple days ago well there's that it's uh, the promise of many good bonfires back there this uh, carport thing that we have here 
actually replaced that cover early winter in January. I actually replaced that because the other one ripped open. We're going to be taking that down this summer. And everything that's in there is going to be stored in our shop. And uh, we might take this to our land. Not too sure yet. Might just store it for a year or two. See what we want to do with it. But I'm probably going to take it to our land. Uh, set it up there. But this will all be open space then for the dogs to run around in. So it'll really open up a lot of the yard. Because uh, it takes up a lot of space. That's uh, 12 feet by 20 feet. This thing here. By 8 feet high. I think it's 8 feet. 8 feet high, yeah. 12 feet by 20 feet anyways. I know that because I had to buy this cover for it. It's a 12 foot by 20 foot cover. I have to tighten it up a little bit though. Uh, throughout the winter it's sort of uh, settled into place. And just like on a, on a load when you're delivering freight, you got to tighten your straps after it you know, moves around, after it settles. i to tighten this up too, but instead of tightening it, I'm just going to take it down. And the dogs will be able to have a lot more room to run around, right Diesel? Right Diesel? I'm sleeping, it's nap time. It's a weekend man. You should be napping too. It really is time to nap, Dad. You should be napping. You're always working. I know, I've been here all day. I had to catch up on uh, all these logs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus this one, that's seven. Plus one, I've already finished. Eight vlogs I did today. Took me all day. I'm not complaining. Yeah, but from morning till, yeah, it's supper time now. It was a full day of work to catch up with everything, and uh, here we are. I'm a little tired, but a lot of computer work for this trucker. I'm not that much of a computer guy. I don't like sitting in front of the computer. I'd much rather be out there tinkering on the truck or, you know, doing something in the shop, but we got to get these done. Work needs to get done, right? This is, uh, uh, part of how we make things keep moving for us. I, I've been doing these videos for, well, this is my 11th year now, so I'm doing it. I want to keep doing them forever, as long as YouTube will have me. And, uh, I consider it, I consider it a job. I want to be careful when I say it like that, because I don't want it to sound like it's a job to make these videos, because it's, uh, it's, uh, something I really enjoy doing. But yeah, it is part of my part of my work. This is part of my responsibility to get these videos up every week and it's it's fun. It is. I, I'm all tired now but I had fun putting them together for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the last uh, eight vlogs, the last eight days of videos. All uh, edited on uh, what's today? March 19th, 2022. That's when they were all edited. There's always going to be a few things we need to do to the house. This is an older house. I think it was built in the 70s. And it's small. It's a uh, very small, like this is the whole thing. I just walked through the entire house, front to back. It's cozy. You guys have seen it already. Uh, we want to get new couches in here and these couches are going to go to the shop uh, for my, my man cave. I want to get a bigger TV, but I'm still working on the wife. Still got to convince her. I'd love to, I, I think we, there's a lot of wall space around this TV. I, I really think that we could fill that up a little bit yet and upgrade and then put this one in the bedroom and then put the one from the bedroom in the shop huh see this is a 65 inch uh i wanna we can't really have much bigger of a one in here of a one a lot bigger of a tv in here and it'll blow our eyeballs out if we get much bigger than this but at least at least they got blown out for a good cause then right big tv I love TVs. I don't watch them much, but just having them there is nice. And then in our uh, master bedroom here, uh, I got my farm sim going here. This is my first ever flat screen TV that I ever bought. This was first generation flat screen. Look how thick these things are. And it's heavy. It's heavy. I have a special mount for it there that'll hold it up. It's bolted right to the studs. But this one can go to the shop, right? And then one from there. Come in here, and I want to get a smart. These, this is not a smart TV. This is before TVs became smart. Uh, the one in the living room here is a little bit of a smart TV. It's somewhat smart, but it's not the smartest. You can get smarter TVs yet. Uh, this one doesn't have a Bluetooth connection, so when we're here on our uh, treadmill, you can't hook up your Bluetooth to the TV. It bothers me because it's not the latest and the greatest, and I must have the latest and the greatest when it comes to TVs. So. 
sort of uh, living in the Stone Age over here with only a half smart TV. But it has all the things like Netflix and stuff on it, so that's that's fun, right? Look how much thinner these new ones are. Here, I'll show you from this side where there's better lighting. Just let me get around Phyllis here. Excuse me, Phyllis. She's very cranky. I don't want to touch her. You move her and then she gets all mad. This is the, how thin the new TVs are. Look at that. Paper thin almost compared to the other one. Crazy, right? We got a really good deal on this TV too. Probably because it's not that smart. I didn't really know how smart TVs could get when I bought this one. I just thought, ooh, big TV. Must have big TV. And it was a good price, so I took it home. But the next one, the next one's gonna be almost as smart as me. Uh-huh. Just gotta convince the wife. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, but I'm working on it. Maybe I need the smart TV first and that'll make me smarter. And together we can use our smartness to convince the wife to get a smart TV, but then I need the TV first and I can't get the TV until I convince her that we can get a new TV. <sighs> My brain hurts. Jokes aside though, that's uh, a nice size for this room. Fits just nicely in here. Yeah, the front to back, so uh, let's go here at our front door right over here to over there. So there's a few things that need to be done to our house yet. We want to redo our insulation in our attic. Uh, the crawl space needs to be done. Before we have a baby, we're going to redo the floors in here. going to put some more child-friendly floors in because this has some sharp edges. It's uh, aging a little bit, and in some areas, uh, like here, it pops up a little bit, and here... This isn't any uh, moisture resistant flooring and it's in the kitchen. So any water that falls out of the sink or anything and onto the floor, if we don't like mop it up immediately, it goes right into the flooring and it swells up. So it's, it's cheap flooring. We wanna put a little bit better flooring in here. Uh, the bathroom needs to be redone. Uh, house needs to be painted. I'm gonna paint the house. Bathroom needs to be done. Because this is like a bad nightmare from the 1990s, and at least that's what the wife says. Oh, hey, a Pepsi. Is there Pepsi in here? Oh, it's empty. Glad I found that before she did. That goes in the recycling. Now she doesn't have to remind me. There we go. Uh, yeah, we want to get a one-piece bathtub for in there. And behind that wall, it wasn't done properly. Uh, the past few houses that we've had, we've when we do our own renovations, we pull it apart and we really notice a lot of people don't do renovations properly. Frustrating. So we're gonna do it properly. We're gonna get it done properly. There's a window behind that. If you go outside the house, there's a window out there. I'll show you, but I'm gonna need my boots to show you. Easily, you wanna come? Chevy, you guys wanna come and show them the window? I know, it's a really weird window. It's a window for nothing. You see, you see, guys. Come, come, I'll show you. I'll show you. If you don't forget you too. Yes, I got a bald head. All right, let's go show them the window, guys. It's on the other side, remember? This way. This way, guys. Follow me. Follow, watch out for the ice. Don't fall. Yeah, it's really icy right here. Diesel, it's not that way. Fine, I'll show you guys. They're going to go. They're going to go play. One second, I gotta put my toque on. My head's getting cold already. Uh, there we go. See, this is where I need my, my boots. Mm. Could probably go back there instead. Uh, this is our air conditioner here. We have it turned off and everything uh, covered up. Okay, so it's, uh, it's back here. Oh man, there's a deep snow here. Hey, that's the window right there. Isn't that weird, right? For one, it's cracked. And there's just a piece of plywood. So all of those tiles on the bathroom on the other side, they were literally just plastered onto this plywood. And there's no insulation on here or anything. And I haven't had a chance to, to do it yet. So that's weird. All right. Huh. 
So many people just don't do things properly. And then I gotta clean up their mess. <laughs> it's okay. You smell that diesel? Someone's having a bonfire. Get him. Get him. Get him. It's nice that they can finally be outside and not freeze right away. <laughs> You guys gonna stay out here for a bit? I'm gonna go inside. You coming with? You can stay if you want. You just come to the door when you're ready. I'm going inside. Come on. No, they want to stay out here. Let them run around out here for a bit. But yeah, this thing, this whole thing here is going. It takes up so much space. And all of this will be yard. So much nicer and it's actually a nice packed limestone area like a level packed area uh, we're gonna build like uh maybe a gazebo screened in gazebo or like put our patio set out here a nice place to sit yeah, that's pretty nice he didn't want to come in you want to stay out there you don't have to come in go enjoy the weather buddy go play with your brother oh no barking hey diesel no barking you guys stay quiet, okay? I'll hear you. Yeah, so. Anyway, back to the bathroom over there. So that window that I showed you is right behind that wall right there. And they just plastered that right onto the plywood there. It's like a quarter inch plywood. No insulation, nothing. Diesel, are you barking already? Kids, I tell you, man. You tell them to do one thing. Just want just stay quiet. No, can't do it. Anyways, putting in a new bathtub in here, one piece. It'll all be one piece all the way around there. That'll be nice. Uh, this is all coming out, all the drywall. We want everything torn out of here because it's a pretty old house. And we're pretty sure that they've had, uh, well, from the bathtub. It's such a low bathtub. Water splashed over here before. We wanted everything pulled apart. And we want uh, water resistant drywall put in. And obviously painted. The fan is still doing pretty good there. New light fixtures, stuff like that. So we have some plans for this place yet uh, before we build. So what we sort of decided to do is instead of putting away every penny we have to save to build a house, we're gonna put away some pennies that we have and other pennies we're gonna invest into this house and fix it up, modernize it, bring it up to the 2020s you know so that it's a little more uh, up to date maybe even redo the kitchen add a dishwasher we'll see gonna invest a little bit into this house and then when we sell it we should be able to get all of that back and then use that towards our build at least then when we sell it we can be uh honest with them and say hey we've we've done this we've done that we've done this we've done that it was all done here's all the receipts it was all done properly this is what we want for it. And then we can stay firm on our price because we know we know what it's worth and we know the work that we put into it. And we're in no real rush to sell. We'll wait for the right buyer. But I'm not even thinking about selling yet. Uh, so we're gonna be here a while yet. So get used to seeing this little cubicle in the background. We don't need much. Why do you need to have a big house? We could afford a big house if we wanted to. Like we, <laughs> if we wanted to, we just, could easily move into a big massive house big yard that's like the one that we used to have but we had a big house we had a big yard and we're like what are we doing with all of this space what do we need why do we need this why am i paying property tax on 17 acres why am i paying so much for electricity for this big massive house to heat it in the winter time well it's just us two and our dogs i wish we could have stayed there uh i do miss it we didn't have to move. I said, I wish, some, t some days I wish we did. But uh, this is a means to an end, this tiny place. We're able to save a lot of money very quickly, living well below our means, well within our means. And uh, one day it'll pay off. One day we're going to have the house that we want. And it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be exactly what we wanted. Custom built. So we will sacrifice space and... A little bit of comfort right now to delay gratification to later in life 
It'll pay off then, because one day I'm going to be sitting on my porch, retired, with a house paid off, and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. We're home for the weekend. Hope you're having a great weekend. After this video, I'm all caught up with my vlogs and I can go do my own thing. Well, Britt's getting home from work in about a half an hour, so i got about a half an hour to do my own thing. <laughs> and we have tomorrow, yeah, Sunday. I can do whatever I want then. I'll go to the shop and start hanging up flags and stuff. It'll be fun. I'll take you with me. Have a good one.